everyone, I'm Tom, and I'm Kate, and we are the Mortons on the Move. We've been traveling in our fifth wheel RV across the U.S. for the past two years. We recently made some safety and security upgrades to our RV, and that made us realize how much there really is to RV security. It gave us the idea to put together a video series about RV security and safety while traveling. So in this series we're going to be covering a number of different topics including RV security, RV electrical safety, driving safety, personal safety, pet safety, and some other safety and security tips. So in this video let's talk about RV security. There are a number of things to think about when thinking about keeping your RV, your vehicle, and the things in and around it safe from theft while traveling. First, let's talk about locks. Keep your locks locks. The ones on your door, the ones on your baggage areas, and the ones on your vehicle. Um, we have an older RV and so this was something that we recently upgraded because a lot of the older models actually have the same keyed lock. In a lot of RVs, new and old, a lot of manufacturers put a same, the same baggage lock on all the RVs. A lot of times it's a CH751 key and lock combo, and that means that in our RV, if we have that, our key will open not only our baggage locks, but also our neighbor's baggage locks. So we decided to make an upgrade to a key that is not uniform amongst all the different manufacturers. When we updated our baggage area locks, we wanted to also update the door handle so that it would be key to like and we'd only have one key to go between the baggage area and the door handle. We decided to go with the RV lock, which gave us that capability, as well as a lot of new features that were pretty cool like a wireless fob and a keypad. We installed this lock and also did a review video on that, which is also on this channel, so take a look for that if you're interested in doing an upgrade to your RV lock uh, as well. We really like it because we end up locking our RV more frequently because it is so easy, so check it out. Another lock to consider for your fifth wheel trailer or RV is an additional lock that will prevent somebody from hooking up, towing it off, or driving it away. You can add a lock on your kingpin if you're pulling a fifth wheel, or you can add a lock as well onto the ball coupler of your bumper pull trailer. You can also put locks on the wheels. We use a couple of X chocks that we tighten up and we, then we lock it so that the wheels can't turn and nobody can take the RV. Another thing for fifth wheels and travel trailers that most people don't think about but I like to recommend is adding an electrical disconnect somewhere that you cannot access it and the electrical disconnect is that that operates your landing gear or jacks for the front of the RV. You can get locked disconnects that you can either put a padlock on or it could just be in a locked compartment but if somebody can't get to it they can't operate your jacks they won't be able to steal your RV. If you have a motor home, you could also look at getting a brake lock or a, some sort of steering wheel lock so that in the event that a thief did get into the RV, they can't turn the steering wheel or operate the brakes and can't drive it away. RVs are really quite easy to break into. They could easily break a window and uh, from knowing RVs and such, they're actually quite easy to hotwire a lot of times as well. If you have bikes like we do, uh, you're probably going to want to find a really good way to lock those up because those are very vulnerable items on the outsides of your RV and are a pretty easy target for thieves who really want to steal bikes. There are lots of options out there for decent bike locks. Uh, standard cable lock isn't really the most secure. We used to have one of those and our bikes were stolen. Cut we right off the back of our RV. We upgraded to a, an alarm bike lock, the new lock, which has a very loud alarm in it and uh, we can also set it so that if somebody tampers with it, it will actually sound the alarm so at least we'll hear and hopefully they would run off. But there's a lot of other good bike locks out there, different means to deter thieves. Some of them may work better than others, but definitely consider getting a good lock for your bikes. Along similar lines, if you have some sort of hitch on the back of your RV for, say, a bike rack or something else, you'll probably want to get a locking hitch pin so that a thief can't just take that pin out and take your whole hitch and everything on it with them. Now let's talk about lights. Lights are a big theft deterrent in RVs, houses, anything. Having more light is better. We recently 
recently installed a motion sensor light on the front of our RV so that it automatically comes on when it senses motion at night in front of our RV. We installed the Smart Light 2000 and we did a review on this over on our Road Gear Reviews channel, so go ahead and take a look at that as well. It's also good practice just to leave on a few security lights around your RV. We have a couple that we leave on. And also if you're parking in, uh, say, a Walmart parking lot or something like that, park where it's well lit. It really helps deter those thieves. Security cameras are also a good option for RVs. They're not just for houses. You can install them on the exterior and interior of your RV. You can set up a system so that you have a monitor inside, say, your bedroom so that you can actually see what's happening around on the outside of your RV or you could also set up a wireless IP system so that when it detects motion it can either alert you or record what's going on. This is also a good option that a lot of people use inside their RV to monitor their pets and make sure everything is okay and also record if anybody were to break into your RV hopefully you can figure out who it was and get something back if they stole anything. You can also install an alarm system, especially if you're planning on leaving your RV for an extended period of time. It's a great way to deter and scare off potential thieves, and if you put a big sign outside that says, beware, alarm will sound, that is also a great precaution. Because RVs are small spaces, you can a lot of times get away with just a single motion sensor type alarm that you can place in a corner or something and sense the entire area so that um, you can arm that when you leave and if anybody gets in it'll pretty much sense them anywhere they are and sound a very loud alarm. Also be sure to have a safe for your valuables especially if you travel full-time on the road like us you're gonna want to have a very secure spot for things that you absolutely cannot have stolen. The safe should be attached to the RV and very secure so that somebody can't just even if they break into your RV, can't take it with them and just leave. Also a good idea to be fireproof because if an RV does catch fire, they frequently burn to the ground. Another great practice for securing your stuff is to write down serial numbers of everything that is of value. That includes your cameras, your bikes, your TV, anything that a thief might want to steal. If you have the serial number, it's the only way that police are going to be able to get something back in the event that your RV is broken into and something is stolen. And any RV is easy to break into. You can break a window, just like a house. So it's really good to have those serial numbers stored somewhere where you're going to be able to provide them to the police if you ever need to. Another great thing to do to reduce the chance of theft is really easy. It's just to keep things out of sight. If you have a truck like we do and you pull a trailer or a fifth wheel, you're really going to want to consider investing in a bed cover. We have a Truxedo fabric bed cover that goes across the back of our truck when we're not hitched up. And even though it's fabric, it's not really going to keep anybody out who really wants to get in there. It keeps people from seeing anything that's in the bed of the truck. When your RV is parked and you leave, be sure to pull down the shades so that nobody can come up and peek into your windows, see your computer, your TV, your camera, anything like that. Just keeping it out of sight keeps it out of their mind. Also be alert of your surroundings. When you're traveling in unfamiliar places, just keep an eye out for anything that's unusual or possibly suspicious. Oftentimes when you end up in an unsafe place, you're going to get that just gut feeling that something isn't right and you should probably move on. And if you listen to that gut feeling, you're going to avoid a lot of potential headache if something did happen. Just being very aware of your surroundings as well is a really good way to signal to somebody that, hey, it's not a good idea to mess with me because I'm alert and we're going to be watching. Finally, and this may seem like really common sense, but don't leave your keys inside an unlocked vehicle or RV. Many car thefts happen this way and it makes the break-ins very easy and you really just don't want it to happen to you. So lock your cars, lock your RV, and stay safe. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you found some of this information helpful. If you have any tips or tricks for RV safety or security, please leave them in the comments section below and we will also add them to our corresponding blog post over on our website at mortonsonthemove.com so that we can all learn and share this helpful tips and tricks together. Also be sure to check out our other videos in our RV security and safety series and we will see you next time.